we're combing through the aisles of Vulcan Video, an independent video store here in Austin, Texas, to find the most obscure, the strangest, and the overlooked gems of yesterday. This is the Vulcan Vault. Welcome to the Vulcan Vault. This week we got a good one. Uh, rock. What'd you pick out? I picked out the uh, the Blood of Heroes, a very uh, kind of unsung, forgotten, weird, post-apocalyptic Rutger Hauer film that everyone needs to know about. Dude, I love a post-apocalyptic Rutger Hauer. <laughs> that, that sounds awesome. What, you can't go wrong. What, what, what's this thing about? Well, basically, it's like set way in the future. There's no uh, technology. Uh, everything is just very, you know, bombed out and depleted. And the only way you can get love, props, or respect in this world is by playing a game. Uh, they call it jugging. And it's basically like brutal football in the future where you have to sham or ram a dog's skull onto a spike. And that's how you score like your, your touchdown. Yeah! <laughs> and they keep time by throwing stones on a, a, on a metal plate. You know, like a hundred stones is how they play this joint. You know what I mean? And it's super crazy. Like, but it's really brutal, really tough. And uh, I don't know, it's great. So we're talking like lots of blood, lots of mayhem easily like Riker loses an eye you know I mean people just get hurt bad you know what I'm saying like in fact uh, Joan Chen uh, from Twin Peaks fame she definitely has a little part in here and actually gets like a role because one of their main players gets injured so she sees herself you know hey I need to come up and like you know get with these guys because they're on the rise I'm gonna rip your tits up bitch I'm gonna hurt your leg I'm gonna break your leg it's rough and tumble the whole way through. Now, I, I noticed on the uh, cover, uh, we also have uh, Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, young Vincent D'Onofrio. We're about the best. What do you know about the league, boy? You got a scarred up Delroy Lindo, like he looks insane. Uh, definitely Rutger, of course. Uh, a lot of weird, just like old school actors, you know, that you recognize and know, you know, and like it's just a trip to see him like this, you know. Uh, another thing worth noting is it's written by David Peebles and directed by him, you know, who did like Blade Runner, uh, Soldier, Kurt Russell, like so he's got some sci fi in him, like Leviathan, a lot of weird, funny ass movies, you know, but uh, again, this is one of those gems that like needs to get checked out, you know. Now, uh, what would you compare this film to? Uh, definitely, it's apt to compare it to Mad Max, you know, because it does take place in the future. It is shot in Australia, things like that. But um, it's it's more of like just like a, a it's more of a football movie, you know, more of just like a like hey, you know, the underdog team, you know what I'm saying? Like they gotta come up and bring it, you know what I mean? Because like that's uh, Rutgers arc, that's Joan Chen's arc. Like they're really trying to come back up on the rise after being, I wouldn't say disgraced, but they're like in the bottom rung and they're trying to get to the leagues. And in order to get to the leagues, they got to just keep whooping ass, you know what I mean? And like getting up there, you know, so it's cool to see them climb and, and ascend, you know. Cool. So uh, uh, an apocalyptic sports movie. Exactly. You awesome. nailed it. Also in 4x3. <laughs> like, it's presented to you in full frame, baby. It's it's old school. And it's an hour and a half straight to the point, too. Uh, I failed to mention that. But it's just straight up gets right to it. Like, there's no time wasted in this joint at all. Like, it's so fun. Oh, man, I can't wait to watch it. The Blood of Heroes. Rocky, thank you very much. Thank you, John. For more news and reviews, keep checking in with AinitCool.com. Thank you.